you keep talking about peace, right? So what will happen to peace if we don't put a stop to Chinese aggression in the region? Oh, so we're saying that that uh, Japan has helped like other countries around the world. By, for example, like other countries. It's right, but I'm not asking about other countries. I'm asking about China specifically. Like, China, like we prove that China is on the right. So what's your plan for countering that if Japan is, it, is if, if it's not Japan? Oh, so it's the defense convention, basically. Uh, yeah, Japan's defense, yeah, defending military can deter China, but out there. Right, but if it's a defense military, if it's a defense military, how is it going to support allies to counter Chinese aggression? How is it going to support what? Support allies to counter Chinese aggression. Support allies. Well, if it's defense, I mean, it can't support the allies, right? Okay, but okay, it's, it's fine if you. It's fine. Oh, do you yeah, have a question here? Okay. Um, How much would Japan spend on their uh, offensive military? No, we're not. The thing we're arguing is that we're not planning to increase its military capability. We concede that Japan already has sufficient military, but what it can do with the military is severely constrained. So by revising Article 9, Japan would be able to help allies out, and it can create a greater deterrent effect. Our Suzuki card explained that Japan is the only one who can do this. Okay, um, I, want, I want to ask your um, about your peace argument again. So, so, if you want, how exactly is a Japanese revision going to like change the current status quo? Oh, we're saying that if we're not planning to, in, if Japan doesn't acquire more weapons, does that mean that oh, the peace condition is false? No, we're saying that Japan has already set an example for many of the other countries. Right, but what will be the cost? What will be the trigger to your um, to your impact? I don't understand. What will what will trigger their impact? Like, is it that is it just changing it and then magically peace disappears, or is it if Japan like gets more weapons and then peace disappears? Oh, uh, so wait, wait, wait. okay. So we're saying that Japan's Article Nine uh, kept peace. So basically, if you get if you uh, get an offensive military. Right, but what, what do you mean by get an offensive military? Does that mean increased military capability? Or does that mean like a revision? Revision. Revision. That's the other topic. No, no, no. Like, like, what will be your trigger? Is it, yeah, is it fine if we don't increase weapons? Like, what will happen if we don't increase? What will happen if we increase weapons without changing article 9? Uh, it says, if Japan's neighbors would see this as a sign Japan may start acting on its own, outside the defines of its U.S. alliance, that this would be quickly to war and destabilize the region. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Do you have a question? What did you change, Japan? Uh, I did it. <clears throat> so, your main impact is That's that... Oh. 